After being on YouTube for two years, the YouTube algorithm has finally been kind to me. My views have skyrocketed, I've been gaining so many more subscribers recently, and this month alone, I hit 100,000 views. Now, I'm gonna share with you exactly how I hit 100,000 views, but also how much money YouTube paid me for those 100,000 views. And without even wasting a second, let's go ahead and start talking about how I hit 100,000 views in a month on YouTube. And I use two strategies. One is posting long form content and the other is posting shorts. Now, I love long form content. I love posting long form content. I love the creative process behind and the storytelling that all leads up to the production of the video. But I love shorts too and I like creating them, but I just don't like creating them as much as my long form video. But this one specifically was amazing for my long form video. Normally my videos range between like a hundred and a thousand views, but this month several of my videos hit past the 10,000 view mark. And from a small YouTuber, this is incredible. Now, how did I do this? Well, I finally understood what a content gap is and how to be the first person to actually post about a very trending topic. Now, a content gap, in case you're unsure what it is, it really is just a gap of content on YouTube. People are searching up this topic and YouTube doesn't have a lot of videos that are promoting this topic or YouTube just doesn't have a lot of videos at all about this topic. Now, I finally hit the jackpot. I was one of the first like five people to post about a very trending and popular Netflix show. I just made a reaction to Love is Blind, the season four that just recently came out. And I did it because I've been watching this show for years. I absolutely love the show. I love watching it. And I just wanted to share my opinions about it. And I really didn't think that anything was gonna come out of this. And so many people say that. They're like, oh, I made this video. I wasn't expecting like it to blow up at all. But truthfully, I posted this video and then the next day it hit like 12,000 views. And I was like, what? From a small YouTuber? Like that is so incredibly big for me. Like my views have never been that high ever. But what I loved more about the video, it wasn't just the click-through rate it wasn't just the views, it wasn't the subscribers I gained from it, it was the fact that I was creating a community. And this is so important on YouTube that I actually felt like people really loved what I was saying, I loved their comments, I really loved interacting with them. That was my most favorite part about the video. It wasn't like how my channel did specifically, it was more so the community that I was building just about that topic and sharing my opinions with others. And for the next three weeks, I continued to post videos about that specific content. And many people returned, my views kept skyrocketing, and I think at the end, my highest video that performed well got like 15,000 views. And again, from the perspective of a small YouTuber, that is like a dream. And I was really, really, really happy with it. But more so, again, I was happy with the community I was building. So that's how I hit the jackpot, I want to say, in my long form video content was that I actually posted a video that was trending and there weren't a lot of videos about it on YouTube. And I thought that I've been doing this for years. Like I really thought that I was doing this content gap search engine optimization thing correctly, but in retrospect, I really was doing it all wrong. And now I have a better understanding of what it means to actually be the first person to post about a very trending and popular topic. Now let's talk about shorts because shorts in 2023 have just completely skyrocketed. I think like millions of people are watching shorts on YouTube every single day. They are like the one thing that is really promoting YouTube right now. And shorts are very weird. If you post shorts, you know exactly what I mean. As of February of 2023 of this year, shorts are now eligible for people to make money on YouTube. So if you were already making money on YouTube with your long form content, now you can start making money on YouTube with your shorts. However though, once this happens, a lot of people, including myself, have experienced just a downfall in the amount of shorts views that they were already receiving. Before February of 2023, I was posting shorts and I was gaining between like five and 15-ish thousand views on my shorts. Once February hit, it's so incredibly difficult for me to break past the 3000 mark 
of views on a short that I produce. And a lot of people would look at this and be like, hey, you're getting between 1,000 and 3,000 views per short. That is excellent. But the weird part about that is that so many other people, and when I say so many other people, I mean like thousands of people are also in this restriction block where like they get a short and it'll automatically get like 1.5k views or it'll get like 2.6k views and that's it. The lifespan of the short is done. What's interesting about this too, and I'm going off on a little bit of a rant here, but what's interesting about this too is that big YouTubers with like hundreds of thousands of subscribers are also in this restriction block where like they'll post a short and it'll get between a thousand and three thousand views. Now that doesn't really make sense, right? Why am I, a small YouTuber with 3,000-ish subscribers, in the same restriction block as like a YouTuber with 100,000s of subscribers? It doesn't really make sense. So YouTube Shorts, I am still actively posting on it every single day, and I do realize that it's bringing in me views, it's bringing in subscribers, it's bringing in a community, and it is helping me form a community. And my shorts, honestly, I post like whatever I wanna post. I'm much more open to posting random things about my shorts, such as my dog, my lifestyle, my gym workout routine, um, shows I'm watching, things I like to do, compared to my long form videos, because my long form videos are like my baby. Like, I wanna nurture that thing, I want to make sure it is the best it could possibly be and my shorts are like honestly there just to have like a fun time and I'm okay with that. So those are the two things I've been using to promote my videos on YouTube. Now enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and look at the data. Let's go ahead and look at the YouTube analytics to see how much money I earned from hitting 100,000 views on YouTube and also the watch hours I hit and the subscribers that I earned this month as well. Now I'm gonna try to move you. So this is an overview of my YouTube analytics for the past 28 days. Now we can even go a little bit further to look at the past week or the past 90 days as well, but this is just for the past 28 days. Now, as we can see, I wasn't lying, I did actually hit 100,000 views, like right on the dot. It just blows my mind. My first year on YouTube, truthfully, I think I was hitting like 1,000 views every three months. For me to hit 100,000 views in a month is insane to me. Now, a large part of it is because I hit that content gap in my long form videos, but also shorts really do bring me in a lot of views as well. I do post at least one short every single day. Sometimes I try to go for two shorts a day, but truthfully, I know that subscribers don't like watching and seeing the same person on their screen every single time they log into YouTube. So although I would love to post more shorts every single day, I do understand that it's a little bit annoying for the subscriber to see. So that's why I only post one short a day, maybe sometimes two. And as we can see, I did also hit 4.1 thousand watch time hours. And I cannot believe this because if you want to get monetized on YouTube, you have to have 4,000 watch time hours and you also have to have 1,000 subscribers. And when I tell you I was on the struggle bus trying to hit 4,000 watch time hours to meet the monetization criteria, I mean, I was like sweating. Like, how am I gonna get 4,000 watch time hours? Like, it is impossible. And here I am hitting it in a month. Like, it is so interesting to me. There were so many times before I was monetized on YouTube where I just like wanted to give up. And I'm so happy I didn't because looking back, like I would have never experienced this success if I would have stopped, let's say a few months ago. And the subscribers, I did in fact earn 329 subscribers this month, which is really high for me. 59 more than usual. Um, I am really happy with this because the numbers really don't mean anything to me. Yeah, like they're fun to talk about, but I love the community that I'm building. It makes me happy. It just makes me so enlightened seeing that people are coming back to my channel and I see multiple faces that I've talked before commenting on different videos. The community aspect of YouTube 
is just such a beautiful thing. I love the community I built here on my channel. If you want to stay a part of it, if you want to watch more of my videos, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel because I just love talking with all of you. I really love it so much. Like I will be on my phone until like midnight, like replying to comments because it makes me so happy and it's like my favorite part. Now let's go ahead and look at my estimated revenue earned in one month after hitting 100,000 views off of YouTube. And this is probably the main reason you clicked on this video, and that's okay. We're gonna get down to it. Drum roll, please. I've earned $120.25 off of YouTube for one month after hitting 100,000 views. This to me, it's just mind boggling. Like we all know $120 isn't life changing, but to know that now I'm starting to make a little bit of money off of something I've been doing for two years, it just shows that your hard work really does pay off. And there were so many times where I just wanted to quit YouTube. I thought my content wasn't good enough. I really felt like I wasn't progressing as other people in my area were. And I'm so happy that I didn't because I'm at a place right now where I'm so excited to film. I'm so excited to make content. I love the whole editing process. And I have a community now of people who come back to my videos and comment and they're here and they're here to support me and I'm here to support them. It is such a beautiful thing. It makes me so happy. I just have a whole new appreciation for the YouTube content and the YouTube production as a whole. Like, it really does make me so happy. Now, let's go ahead and look at this past week in case you are curious what this would look like in the last seven days. Um, in the last seven days, I hit about 20-ish thousand views. I had 173 watch hours. I've earned 68 subscribers and I earned five bucks. <laughs> and this really does show how your channel can change from one week just to one month. And the big picture is always so important. Now we also can see how much money I've earned in the views and the watch time and the subscribers for the past 90 days or last 365 days or lifetime but I'm gonna hold off on doing that because I do want to make a separate video about how much money I've earned on YouTube after my first three months being monetized in six months in one year and so on so I don't want to show those just yet but do know that those videos will be coming very soon and I hope that this video was a little bit enlightening or a little bit more eye-opening to you because we all know that so many people can make a living off of YouTube but it's also good to know like how much small YouTubers are making off of YouTube because a lot of small YouTubers, myself included, when I was like at 100 subscribers, was thinking that if I were to have 100,000 views that I would be making like thousands of dollars and the truth is that is not entirely true. And with that being said, I wish you the best of luck on your YouTube editing process, on your YouTube journey, on everything related to YouTube. I hope you have all the success that you ever wanted. I hope you make the best videos. I hope YouTube makes you so happy and my one recommendation for people who are on YouTube right now is to find the happiness in YouTube. There are so many times where I can feel stressed and overwhelmed and feel like I have to do something but if I'm not happy doing what I'm doing that shows in the video. Like I can look back on other videos in a time where I was stressed and where I was overwhelmed and I can see like, oh Chanel, like you're not glowing, you're not radiating happiness, like what is this? Why are you so sad? And it shows in your video. So my one recommendation is to find the happiness and always bring yourself back to why you started YouTube in the first place and have so much fun with it. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a like. That supports my channel a lot. Leave a comment down below and also subscribe to my channel for future content just like this one.